Remember that feeling that you got when you got your first pair of Doc Martens? Man, for me, it felt great. I was so happy. And uh, the story was a bit of a challenge. So I'm going to tell you my story. Comment down your story below if you feel comfortable. And also, if you like Doc Martens, consider subscribing to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. I remember when I first wanted a pair of Doc Martens. It was like the law of attraction. I started seeing it everywhere. Literally, Doc Martens here, Doc Martens there. Young person, old person, like Doc Martens everywhere. And that was when I knew, like, dang, I needed a pair of Doc Martens. Like, I'm seeing all other people rock them. They look good. I think they'll look good on me, too. So I was like, man, I need a pair of Doc Martens. And that's when my quest began. Like, I need some 1460s on my feet. <laughs> so I started doing, doing some research. Um, my biggest concerns was, number one, sizing. Doc Martens, I don't know. They don't do half sizes. So finding your size can be very difficult. And for my research online, the biggest thing that I got was Doc Martens are true to size. At first, I had no idea what that means. Even till now, I kind of understand. So this is what I got from it. True to size, meaning that it's it doesn't run big or run small. It's like exact. For example, some shoes, they are US size nine, for example, but it actually fits somebody that wears a US size 10, if you understand. The best example that I can give you is Chuck Taylors, like the Converse Chuck Taylors. They are, they run big. For example, I wear a size eight in Chuck Taylors, but in every other shoes, I wear nine or nine and a half. So hopefully you understand. If you don't, please somebody comment down and describe it even better. But my other concern was breaking into my Doc Martens. When it comes to Doc Martens, like, is it me or has there been like so many people online just that crave of like what it takes to break into Doc Martens? It's like a rite of passage. Like some people make it seem so freaking scary. So I'm like, man, I don't think my feet can handle all that pain because <laughs> why buy shoes if your feet's going to hurt? Like make it make sense, please. Like that's that was a big thing on my conscience. Like, dang. I'm about to spend money to make my feet hurt. Like what? I mean, for a certain amount of period, but that was a big thing on my head. So after I kind of figured things like that out, I decided to look for a store that sells Doc Martin. I went to the store that had Doc Martens. It was not a Doc Martin store, like the official Doc Martin store. No, it was a store that had Doc Martens. The difference is that stores that do have Doc Martens, they usually only have the popular ones. For example, the 1460s. My thought was, let me go there, try it on. If I like it, I'll buy it. I was very lucky. I went in there and they did not have my size. I was like extremely happy. I was one of those guys that whenever I'm happy, like I start to block things out. When I went into the store, they told me, oh, they don't have my size. I was like, hmm, what, like, what? Like, <laughs> like you're killing my vibe right now. Like, excuse me. So after that back and forth, they just told me to try on a size above it just to see what exactly is my size. Cause I didn't know. They gave me a size 10. And when I put those things on, it was like flippers, like literally blop, 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 plop. It made my foot look big and my body look unproportionate. Like I had like clown shoes, like walking around. I tried to tie them tight. It was not going to work out for me. Like those were too big for me. So I had two decisions or I had two options. The first one was to decide if I was going to wait for the Doc Martens to be available in the store. But the problem was since I wear size nine, it's a very common size. So for it to be available in store, it's going to be very hard. My other option was 
to buy it online. The only problem with buying my Doc Martens online was I was not too sure if I knew my size. So this can be a waste of money. So I went to the car, very disappointed, to ponder on what I wanted to do. By the time I got back to my apartment, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I rushed up to my apartment, hopped on the computer, and placed the order immediately. Like, I did not think twice about it. I don't know why. Now, I wish my card would have gotten declined. Because the pair of Doc Martens that I bought was the Made in England Doc Martens. I don't know why. It was just like bang, 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 bang. My heart was beating fast and rush of blood to the head. And so much happened in like a five minute span that afterwards you start thinking about the consequences like, dang, did I just buy a $200 pair of sh shoes? Like literally the most I spent on shoes. And what if they don't fit? Like, why did I get the made in England? I mean, I lived in England for about two years, you know, big man ting in it. <laughs> I'm not British, but I lived in England for two years. And then I know the made in England, like the leather is very good. I wanted my Doc Martens to last for a long, long time. So that's how I got my first pair of Doc Martens and this video showed you how literally I got it from the post, the post office. And then I made this video of how I break into my Doc Martens. Check it out.